finding a vaccine for COVID-19 is a priority for many people, so much so thousands of people around the world have volunteered for a potential human trial to help speed up the development of a vaccine against the coronavirus. If we were to minimize the period in which the infection rate is fatal by just a handful of days, you're saving a lot of people. That's the reason 34-year-old Antonio Cisneros recently answered a call for volunteers. He'd be willing to be infected with the coronavirus. An organization called One Day Sooner is made up of scientists and researchers who are looking to recruit people for a potential human trial. You need to be selfless. You need to be responsible for all of your community, not just yourself. More than 30,000 people from 140 countries have now signed up as volunteers. However, a public health scientist and professor at University of California, Riverside, says although he wants a vaccine, he doesn't believe scientists and researchers know enough about COVID-19 right now to speed things up by going straight to human trials. Speeding things up is not always exactly uh, you know, the, the best thing. We have to be also be thinking about uh, making sure that the science is done right, that people are protected uh, along with this, and, uh, and ultimately that is going to pay off. Very, uh, in very important ways for us later on when, uh, you know, if and when we, we do have a vaccine that, that meets approval, that's found to be effective, and that's found to be safe. Professor Carpiano uh, says these human trials could be dangerous and make volunteers very sick. The research group says they're reducing the age by looking for younger people, 20 to 45 years old, with no underlying health conditions. Cicero says he's not afraid. The sooner we can figure out a vaccine, the sooner it will be helpful for the planet because my fear is just the numbers are so high. Researchers say developing a safe and effective vaccine could take several years. However, many scientists say they are hopeful a vaccine will be approved sooner. In Brentwood, I'm Brittany Hopper, KCAL 9 News.